So in order to use these tools, obviously we have to have some kind of geometry within our scene. And that's why I'm going to start with the 3D primitives. In the 3D primitives tab, we can see a selection of pre-designed shapes. And these shapes can be used to actually start to build new geometry upon and remold to actually create something new and original. One thing that you will know as a 3D modeler over time is, is that you want to match the shape closest to what the type of model that you want to create. If something is quite box-like, then you would start with something like a cube. If something is quite organic, you may want to start with something more like a sphere. However, you can use a combination of both of these depending on what you're trying to make. On the other hand, you may want to build polygon by polygon by using the facet tool. So be quite selective when it comes to starting with primitives as to the type of shape that you're kind to really end up with.